Hello everyone and welcome back to the Burgundians campaign in A Tale of Total War. My name is Ben Pope. Today, while well, we left off after pretty much uh, having to deal with the Geats, uh, not the Geats, I'm sorry, the Utes. The Geats are our friends after we made them our puppet state. Um, so the Utes have attacked us and we have to deal with them here. We had a, a small fight on the water uh, and it had our fashion leader involved and our spear champion didn't do anything but he was there he's the one-man unit pretty powerful uh, and um, we checked out their their garrison they have a pretty good garrison there so we would have to mount up a real force to go take them out uh, they probably have like a bunch of military buildings that's why they have all these guys so our spy is coming down towards what's the what's it pronounced like Agrantoratum to kind of see what the Utes have there. I want to take out this city and whatever other other lands there. I think that's the only city they have. Uh, to then when attacking this, I can make a state and have that their land. Sounds. Sounds pretty uh, good. Sounds like a plan. For that, I need my big force from here. And uh, so I need to just wait a few turns. Maybe upgrade these. That's 3,000. Uh, another interesting, very interesting thing is that I'm upgrading, upgrading, upgrading this torp to a village in a small town. And also this torp to a village in another small town. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. Scratch that. I thought I was looking at a big town. So see, I do a lot of those fails. I thought I was looking at upgrading cities, but they're just villages. So I cannot tell you how uh, silly I feel, but I'm going to spend all my money and do that and uh, dish out some uh, skills here. We're going to give him Wolf and we're going to give him more integrity so he and his forces don't complain. Uh, and I probably have another, yeah, the Sailors of the Broken Dawn, they need some uh, whole, f whole force and recruitment. Perhaps I can also get, I think I'm fine in, in, with integrity, so we're going to get two of those. Um, maybe I don't need the morale versus Romans, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to end the turn and, and see what happens in this uh, end turn before we get going. All our other towns are okay. I checked before um, starting, I guess. And there was an enemy army of some kind moving in my view. I have to build a defensive force in my home province. And one in over in uh, Iberia, where my um, two villages are that we were just upgrading, and then I will go with that force that's there in Iberia to fight the Utes. Now this might not all get accomplished in today's episode, but that's the plan. I have to take one war at a t one war at a time. Um, you know, just to make sure I'm not gonna mess up. Uh, and, and spread myself too thin. That's kind of the ultimate goal. Mercenary influx. We have some uh, replenishment faction wide. Hidden agent discovered. Where you at, bro? Oh, that's 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 a friend. He's still okay. Uh, so here we're having. To we're having to wait, I think. This is gonna bring nothing. Is this gonna That's gonna bring public order, that's gonna be public order. This I need population surplus for to get something in that will bring more public order. And then I can move. Let's see. The Utes 
are here somewhere. That's a Geet army. Uh, I don't want to trespass with my spy, so I will go ahead and go around. Make him go fast. And then we'll climb up over here. Uh, okay. I wish I could make some of these longobards or somebody to, to fight for me, but looking at the diplomacy, nobody's really, really happy with, with me. They wouldn't... Um, uh, I don't think they're going to want to do like a defensive alliance or anything. First we talk. Yeah. These guys probably still don't want Lucky to trade. Tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be like a spear and have a point. They don't even want an aggression pact or non-aggression pact. Let's give him like some payment, why not? Yeah, yeah, maybe. No. I don't want to spend too much money on that. I mean, you know. Whatever. Ready for Do not force march. Uh, sit there. The let's do, let's give our, um, faction leader the all these guys. Ready for we'll move you to our capital. It, and the faction leader can stay here. Uh, no, we're not on the boat. There you go. That gets us more public order. This is gonna give us more public order, so. And Duna is doing okay. I could upgrade to dikes for sanitation, but I don't think I need it at the moment. I could upgrade our gem thingy. For the tribe. I can also upgrade these guys, but it increases their price by 200 and some. And I'd rather not spend that money on um, on those units every turn if I don't need to. For the tribe. Uh, we can recruit. Oh goodness, I can only recruit Elite Javelin or Elite Slinger. Uh, Barb Javelin Man. For what I could do is recruit that Elite guy and put him in the big army. Leave this to the small one. We'll see. Again, I don't want to spend that 300 a turn at this moment. For those units. It's nice that I unlocked them. That means I can have a real pow powerful force. Uh, but, but at the same time. I don't want it. Because it will spend all my money. A champion. Ooh. Those guys are probably coming back home. Plan B! <laughs> I'll have to recruit some units if those guys are coming back and maybe attacking me. What I could do is maybe try to pay them off and become friends again. We'll see how that how that plays out. I don't think they'll agree. Something tells me they won't be very keen. As they say. I do thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, Many they want the peace treaty, Britain. Our our people look to find terms sure. That will bring rest uh, actually, I don't. I don't want to ask him for money. I just want to take it because, yeah. If I was asking to ask for money and not get the peace treaty, then a joyous occasion. I think that's my faction leader having a daughter. Uh, Britain and the Geats as well. And myself. Um, uh, 
Right, so now that's gonna mess up my public order. Thank you, uh, good sir. Agent discovered. Who was he? He was him. All right, let's go back up here. This is a army on the water and the Utes. I'm gonna probably keep getting them confused and saying Utes or Welcome. Geats versus the other. Me. Come on. Do not waste time, better spend it hunting. Oh, why don't you say something to my... Oh, you don't even want 5,800. You don't think you're all... You think you're all that. You're at war with Romans and the Huns. I'm surprised the Ac Saxons or the Alamans didn't come to your aid. But I guess you declared war on me, so... Um... Yeah. I guess we will have to prepare for defense. Um, I don't know why you're still forward marching. I thought I took that away from you. More swords. At this point, heck yeah. We're making a bit more money, so let's wait. What what did we make money off of? Did we finish these? We did not finish these. We can improve this. I uh, hmm. I could get the onagers. It's kind of far away to have them. don't really need it. Uh, but I could use it. Let's see. Germanic Riders would give me Axemen. Large Onager there. Might as might as well. I I don't know. Uh, sure, whatever. At this point, you know. Um, big whoop de doo. The farms the farms are also good. Farms are gonna get me a lot of units. Okay. Um, I think it's time to move this army. Um, I'm gonna give you, sir, a... One of these... Actually... Yeah, one of them. And... We're gonna recruit... One of these guys. Okay. Ready for and you, sir, can get... Might as well get a couple of these swords, swordsmen. Or no, we'll get, we'll get some... We'll get one of each of these. Crash that. I already have that, so I'll get a swordsman. I already have an uh, elite scatter shot. So, noble Germanic swordsman. Uh, spending my money. That's what I'm doing. I could probably use another unit of cav, but we'll wait on that. We will have to wait. It is very likely that those. Um, Utes are coming out here somewhere. It's like another army just crossed down from Londinium. And those Utes are probably gonna land. Who knows what they're gonna do. If they come attack me, I'm, I should be okay with it as... I, I'd rather have them attack me than 
Then we're attacking the Geats and taking out the Geats since I don't think they have much of an army. They should. Because the AI makes plenty of money. They make a lot more money than, than we do as a player. Especially with the difficulty settings. Although I am playing just on hard. They get a bonus in cash. Like there's no tomorrow. Alright, Terms of Office are out. Let's deal with that. What can we make our own guys? Why don't we... Why don't we have you look for a wife, mister? Uh, you... Can be a judge. And so can you. You can be a tribal chief. You can be a companion. Or do we want other people to be companions? You're there, you're there. Okay. And you can be an elder. Okay. So this guy is 16 and he's going to seek a wife already. That's pretty good. Why not? Five thousand to spend. I think I'm gonna get this. It's it seems to be eating up my food if I do. Uh, but. It will get me wealth from culture and public order, so in the end it's a good investment. Uh, this is getting the swordsman and we're gonna have to get probably, um, probably like a barbed lancer. Less armor, more melee defense. Shock and I ah, forget it. We'll get two of them. <laughs> Spending my money away, away, bro. All right, Mister. These could be what? Germanic horsemen. Might as well do it. All right, let's go. Hmm. Warband is cheaper. Fine. It's a good life. Okay. Ready for battle. You, sir, are a stupid person. So, <laughs> we're gonna give you Wolf uh, and Raven for cunning. And then we're going to give you... I could do recruitment cost and stuff. I could do that. And we could do... Yeah, I could do that. There we go. So I should be doing some recruiting with him or something to get better prices. I suppose that's a good idea. Although that's something I could have put on my faction leader. Our faction leader probably has okay stats. Are the youths going on the defensive? Or are they just playing? They could be going for the geats. Yeah. Oh well. We'll just have to deal with whatever comes up, right? Uh, 
Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if if you haven't seen, I um, plenty of attraction. Let's see the, 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 the influence. Well, Gunther has plenty of influence, so we're gonna do political fervors, favors, and here we we can do a decree. Since Rainier doesn't have much influence, and uh, Gundamar, uh, let's do favors. And Wolfgard, just do favors as well. All right, everybody's sweet. Shortage of food in Galatia. I believe we can fix that if we were to upgrade our farm. Hmm. Of course, that's not going to help public order with one bit. But ask me if I give it our. Uh, squalor. Nine. Yeah, well, let's do it. We'll deal with the public order part later. Can you double time it, please? It's I know it's like two seconds faster than normal. If you double time it. But that's just what I want you to do. Uh, so we have spent a lot of money, you guys. Uh, mainly because the units are expensive. Uh, what I intend to have is perhaps just... Let me see. Uh, Garrison. Hunters? Barb Javelinman? Hunters aren't bad, but... I'm so glad you don't pay money for these. For, as far as, uh, upkeep for the garrisons. No, that should that should happen when you put people inside the towns. Just like lower your garrison prices a little bit. Maybe. When you put armies inside the towns. I didn't upgrade this guy because you probably have heard me say this before. He's got more armor in here. And uh, slightly more morale by one point. I guess I need more frontline. I really do. We get. Uh, forget this. Let's not get that guy. Let's get him next time. Let's get him. Uh, let's get this guy another unit. Uh, something. Some spears will do. Okay. Um, odds are also that I don't need all these guys here. So, uh, shoot. Um, I think I'm gonna take our general named Guiltbert and venture over to grab some of those troops. In fact, he can go f a little bit further and reach there next turn that makes sense right I need to consolidate my forces and f find a way to stop the Utes it's like the Geats are bringing back their force um, if they just sit there and camp Kudos for them. I should be able to punch him right in the face if they wait there long enough. <laughs> I'm bring all my forces up there. <laughs> yeah, I could take the other force, the big force, and go straight for their for their other city that they have. Uh, and I'll check to see if maybe they conquered anything new in diplomacy because it says how many regions they have. Noble birth. Awesome, another noble worth, sweet. Respectable power. Um, I guess, again, loyalty, and that's messing up my pub public order. Okay, let's do this part. Um, have the slayers take on some. I'm guessing 
uh, we'll take these guys and we'll take these guys how is our garrison here we're going to need guard yeah I think they're fine we can we can even take the horsemen okay the slayers go back uh, could have a different name for the slayers just don't know what it is no idea what the name would be I totally forgot about this spy uh, he could yeah he could definitely do that and then can you land yes you can and we're gonna sneak at the diplomacy screen and click on the youths and re realize that they still have just two regions which means it's that and that Luckily, um, or if luck is on my side, I'll be able to get there and do some damage. I'll probably land over here. Um, I don't want to land on anybody's land. You come straight down and attack them. I don't really care to take that town over unless it's really cool I don't know what they have there they don't have much uh, it's a small town but this will definitely happen in the next episode guys that army is on the way uh, I have a defensive force thanks to these guys coming in from here I could probably even bring more but this is I think this is good enough plus what our faction leader has here and the spear champion um, and with those, we can sort of see, wait and see what the youths will do with their army named the War Goals. Uh, we might have to jump at the aid of the Geats, or attack them to pin them down there, um, while this other force takes out Algrain Torantum. That's the plan. Hopefully you agree. It sounds like a good plan to me. The only thing that's standing in the way, really, is time and maybe some public order problems over in Galatia. Besides that, I don't know what else to tell you. Maybe I can recruit more units for public order. That's about all I can do at the moment. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Please do hit the like button, comment. Let me know what you think. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel and you like the stuff that I have, uh, the type of content that I have. And um, yeah, share this out with your friends. It's probably a boring let's play, but I'm having fun with it. Hopefully some of you guys are having fun too and you're learning a few things about how to go through the campaign at a moderate fun pace where you don't overextend yourself and get you know, overwhelmed by um, war and attack and so on. Alright, I hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.